a lot of these seemingly different graphs and measurements all seem to come together and start to tell a little bit of story. All right, so I'm going to be talking about the class data. So um, as you all know, it will since they really like to stay on this form quickly under stress or at the end of the slide. Uh, so it depends on two circumstances that occur. Like Reed said, it's like a wild card, so it really depends on which uh, group and the circumstances. So um, on this graph, we have like we have many many different like types of uh, different lines that could show uh, variation within plants. So the wild type plants did show similar lines in the graph, but the and the mutants, uh, both these plants, did start out uh, similar to start with and spread out. So that means this could be our only piece of data. Even though it's still spread out, it could show uh, pretty important data. So it's just kind of really important to find data. So our second graph is the uh, rosette width average. And the rosettes, as you all may know, is the uh, leaves in the intended part is the wise part of the plant. So the rosette width uh, did stay about the same for the experiment. Now, what this could mean is that the, the plant itself once it reaches max maximum height or maximum width in this case, it did not it did not have any effects. The caffeine did not have much uh, effect on the uh, plants themselves. So that's what this could mean by my possibility. So our third piece of data is the sleeks average, and the sleeks, as you guys know, is the seed capsule from bulk the bolts. So the sleeks average should say about the same for the plant, but they did grow. Uh, this this leaks a little bit, so that does show that the that the plant was reaching the end of its uh, life cycle. So that means that it could possibly the, the caffeine could possibly uh, yeah, cause stress for the plant or possible uh, speeding up the life cycle. Um, so our our class conclusion is that the results vary based on each group. Like William said, he that the Results did vary, and it was like a wild card throughout the entire experiment with all the groups. So the rosette width, like I said, was also a very important uh, piece of data as well as the bulk height, because it did show our data in the, in the, the brightest way, in some sense. Um, so another key important part is that the plants may have died before the next tree. Not out of one possibility, because the that with it did not grow. Uh, the plant did not grow in mass over the experiment and the uh, over the caffeine experiment. So that's that's one important piece. So the, the plant did not meet the hypothesis with expectations. So in our case, the hypothesis was not supported, and the experimental plants were not stronger and not any healthier than the control variable of the control plants. That's that's based on our do you have any questions? Right. So about how long did you say your life cycle was? Because the one year I'm not sure if it's about the same. Yes, it was probably about two or three weeks uh, of full, full steady growth. And So day one, uh, so the first day we had treatment, uh, first day and we measured. So that was we measured before that, but this was the that was the this is the main point of the experiment. That was the oh, how long did you
right, we're going to take a stand up, shake it off.